Hi, this is Andy from DTFSuperstore.com. Today we're going to go over the general process of DTF printing to show you what steps are involved in a typical desktop environment. Uh, first we're going to come to our computer and load up our artwork. We're using EK RIP so you can just drag and drop. Our settings are already locked, locked in so we're not going to go over that in this video. But we can position the art. We're going to make it a little bit smaller, so about five inches wide. And get it up here to the top. If we want, we can preview, see the underbase. All right, so now we're ready to hit print. So it's going to rip, and then let's come over here to our printer. Get our sheet separated a little bit there. All right. So now you can see it's printing the color and then it's gonna come over top with the white right after it. And this is a P600 Epson printer, so it's significantly faster than like the L1800 models. All right, there we go. Now we have a fresh transfer. The ink's wet at this point. You can flip it over to make sure we got the print the way we want. Looks good. Now, in a normal situation, you might wanna leave this dry for 10, 15 minutes so it picks up less of the powder, but it's not gonna to hurt to do it quicker. It just will, it'll grab more powder. So you scoop up a little bit of the, we're using medium powder here, put some on your sheet. And you can just slightly shake it over, make sure you get it all covered and go back. And then you want to shake off any of the excess. You're going to hit it pretty hard. It's not like the ink's going to fall off. <clears throat> all right, that's plenty. You can shake it a little bit more. It gets more critical if you have some, say, small letters that are cut out. You'll have to shake it really good to get the powder out from in, the, in between. So now the next step is to turn the powder into a solid. And so you just want to melt it. We're going to use a toaster oven today. I can't see the settings, but I have it set way low. It's maybe 200, 210 degrees. And then we're gonna just cook it for one to two minutes until that powder turns to a solid, it melts. And normally during this time, you could be multitasking, go do other things, start the next print, powder the next thing. Right here, we can get our shirt ready. Let's go ahead and put that on the heat press. I try to square it up um, then we'll press it one time real quick just to get the wrinkles out as you can see I have it set for 323 but 320 is fine all right so now we have a nice smooth shirt and we just got to wait for the powder to melt all right now that our powder is melted you'll be able to feel if it if, if there's any powder on there that isn't melted, but it's all melted. You can either store this transfer for, for months and use it later, or you can go and directly put it on the shirt. We're gonna put it, this is a small little chest print. So I'm gonna try to get it lined up there. All right, now we're gonna press for 15 seconds. Alright, let me pull it out. And now this transfer is a cold peel transfer, so we're gonna let it cool. We can just bring it over to the desk here. And now we're just gonna wait until it's cool to the touch and then we can peel it off. Alright, now that it's cooled down, you can feel it, it's cool now. You can just gently peel the transfer back. 
and it comes off really easy. And then there you go. You have a nice transferred shirt.